Today I learned Dennis Ritchie who invented the C programming language, co-created the Unix operating system, and is largely regarded as influencing a part of effectively every software system we use on a daily basis died one week after Steve Jobs. Due to this, his death was largely overshadowed and ignored. Dennis McAllister Ritchie, September 9, 1941, c. October 12, 2011, was an American computer scientist. He created the C programming language and, with longtime colleague Ken Thompson, the Unix operating system and B programming language. Ritchie and Thompson were awarded the Turing Award from the ACM in 1983 the Hamming Medal from the IEEE in 1990 and the National Medal of Technology from President Bill Clinton in 1999. Ritchie was the head of Lucent Technologies System Software Research Department when he retired in 2007. He was the RNK and RC, and commonly known by his username Ma. During the 1960s, Ritchie and Ken Thompson worked on the Multix operating system at Bell Labs. Thompson then found an old PDP-7 machine and developed his own application programs and operating system from scratch, aided by Ritchie and others. In 1970, Brian Kernighan suggested the name Unix, a pun on the name Multix. 9. To supplement assembly language with a system-level programming language, Thompson created B later, B was replaced by C, created by Ritchie, who continued to contribute to the development of Unix and C for many years. 10. During the 1970s, Ritchie collaborated with James Reeds and Robert Morris on a ciphertext-only attack on the M209 US cipher machine that could solve messages of at least 2,000 to 2,500 letters. 11. Ritchie relates that, after discussions with the NSA, the authors decided not to publish it, as they were told that the principle was applicable to machines still in use by foreign governments. 11. Ritchie was also involved with the development of the Plan 9 and Inferno operating systems, and the programming language Limbo. As part of an at and restructuring in the mid-1990s, Ritchie was transferred to Lucent Technologies, where he retired in 2007 as head of System Software Research Department. Ritchie is best known as the creator of the C programming language, a key developer of the Unix operating system, and co-author of the book The C Programming Language. He was the RNK and R, a common reference to the book's authors Kernighan and Ritchie. Ritchie worked together with Ken Thompson, who is credited with writing the original version of Unix. One of Ritchie's most important contributions to Unix was its porting to different machines and platforms. They were so influential on research Unix that Doug McIlroy later wrote, the names of Ritchie and Thompson may safely be assumed to be attached to almost everything not otherwise attributed. Ritchie liked to emphasize that he was just one member of a group. He suggested that many of the improvements he introduced simply looked like a good thing to do, and that anyone else in the same place at the same time might have done the same thing. But Jan Strostrup, the designer of C++, said if Dennis had decided to spend that decade on esoteric math, Unix would have been stillborn. Nowadays, the C language is widely used in application, operating system, and embedded system development, and its influence is seen in most modern programming languages. Unix has also been influential, establishing computing concepts and principles that have been widely adopted. Ritchie was found dead on October 12, 2011, at the age of 70 at his home in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, where he lived alone. First news of his death came from his former colleague, Rob Pipe. The cause and exact time of death have not been disclosed. He had been in frail health for several years following treatment for prostate cancer and heart disease. News of Ritchie's death was largely overshadowed by the media coverage of the death of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, which occurred the week before. Here's what the Redditors of TIL had to say about this. To underscore the underscore tenth underscore power says. Following Ritchie's death, computer historian Paul Lisa Ruzzi stated. Ritchie was under the radar. His name was not a household name at all. But, if you had a microscope and could look in a computer, you'd see his work everywhere inside. Dope Man Since 1996 says, His death wasn't in the forefront of the Lumike media because largely no one knows who he was. Messiah Prinny replies, And that's the problem. People selling a project are more famous than people who actually invent. Steve Jobs gets hailed as a genius when all he did was market. Ritchie makes a programming language that makes all that success possible and dies in obscurity. Northerner Woo Woo replies. 
I can't speak for Richie specifically but there are plenty of innovators in technical areas that would be just fine with that. Fame isn't desired by everyone, James Taylor exclaims. Yes, his death was ignored by the consumer masses to whom Jobs appealed, not to the technical community to whom Dennis Ritchie so faithful served. Different audiences. R.I.P. Dennis Ritchie and Steve Jobs. E. Merchant 26 replies. Steve Jobs was not a person worth revering. He had no original ideas and was just a used car salesman. He treated his own family like shit, refused to support charities, ruined Apple three times, and if not taking the idea of a portable MP3 player and making it cute and forcing musicians into shit contracts he would have ruined Apple a fourth time. I cannot for the life of me figure out the fascination with a person so blindly obtuse that he thought juice was going to cure cancer. Kevin underscore with underscore eyes says. Richie and Kernighan, and the rest of the Bell Labs guys, are almost unknown to the public despite creating the basis for modern programming and developing the foundations for all the software we use today. At least in the computer science community they are known and respected. Edit, wow, I'm glad this got a lot of attention. Their book is one of my favorites and has huge sentimental value to me. As a CS student in NY, I'm heavily considered driving to Princeton to meet Koenig and during his office hours. Vyak replies. If only. Bell Labs has contributed an incredibly huge amount to science, the transistor alone would put any team on the front page of science but Bell Labs also came up with C, Unix, radio astronomy, the goddamn laser, need I go on? Of course it wasn't just one person but I don't know of another institution that propelled humanity like Bell Labs. Gambiting says. Even if Steve Jobs didn't die a week before his death would get almost zero attention. Seriously, you think a normal person would care about the inventor of the C language? Most would see the snippet on Reddit or in a news site and go have and carry on with their lives, let's not pretend otherwise. Leroy underscore Hoffenfeffer says. I'm happy I was able to get my C programming language signed by Kernighan when he visited my school. Half isn't bad. Richie will be remembered as a genius. Edit, my highest rated comment is about one of my favorite CS dudes. R.I.P. Mr. Dot Ritchie. We will carry your legacy forward. Really puts the old saying standing on the shoulders of giants into perspective. Thanks for watching, today I learned by the Reddit King. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications.